expensive and beautiful, but they're also plagued with video issues. If you turn on the power and you hear the Mac tones, but don't see anything on the screen, you may have a logic board problem. Fear not if you've been quoted some outrageous price to fix your MacBook. Believe it or not, at Reboot IT, we could fix your MacBook under $200. Hi guys, this is Trey here with Reboot IT. Today we're looking at a MacBook Pro with the NVIDIA chipset. It's the same problem as a lot of the HP laptops that we work on here. Basically, you turn it on, it comes on, makes its little sound, starts up normally, but you get no picture on the screen at all. In this particular one, we actually um, went to the external monitor and we don't get video on that. Sometimes when the, the video chipset goes out, you'll get uh, video on an external, but this one's pretty shot, so we're going to have to do a uh, reflow on this one. These Macs are a little bit more hard to pull apart than the DV9000 HPs but uh, still not too bad. The aluminum chassis is nice, it holds up real nice over time. But be careful, the ed edges on those when you pull them apart definitely get sharp and can cut you up real easy. What was the speed on this one? Uh, this one should be at 2.4. Yeah. Vince wanted to be on video next. He is more than welcome to. <laughs> Come on, Vince, you want to be a movie star? Not really. It'll be real fun when we get the uh, HD cam and streams in here. Oh, yeah. People will get a kick out of that. And fix the shop. Vince will have no choice. It'll be a movie star. <laughs> I'm going to need that little star head screwdriver. All right. Actually, go on there. Any words of wisdom to keep these running nice and cool for the long term? Clean them out. Good uh, can of compressed air or an air compressor if you got one. And then just spray it out from the back side right behind the screen. Yeah, you'd be surprised when we pull these guys apart what we see inside. Cats? <laughs> Sometimes a dog. Or at least enough hair to cover one. Solar cells in. Those are the big guys. Yeah. Yep. You guys will see some uh, up and coming solar videos. I got the large size uh, solar cells. These guys put out a double what a 3x6 typically does. I'll give you some more details on that and probably in the next couple days I'll throw some videos up on it. Stay tuned. Oh yeah. Now the thing with these apples, every little piece has to come out to get at that 
logic board unfortunately so there's a lot of little screws so you're definitely going to want to have a sheet of paper write down where everything went um, all shapes and sizes or run a video camera like we're doing and you can play it back and see where all the, the pieces went very small pieces yeah what size of a screen is that? A 15? This is a 15-4. 15-4. Put a paddle next to the screen. How big that is. I'm still going to have some juice. There it is. Does it look like it was worked on before? This is a clean system, it's never been touched. Fortunately. If it was, it was probably an apple leaf of this. Here's the number one reason for failure. Yeah, let me zoom in on that. Dust. Got a good deal in there, huh? It's a great layout inside though. Everything's spaced out nice. Okay. delicate with these because bending the board you can crack the etching and well, it's a nuisance. There's the logic board. CPU, or GPU, Northbridge, CPU. Everything's right there. Right next to each other. We're going to clean up the chips, clean up the board, put some new thermal grease on there after we're done reflowing it. But there she is, to the reflow station. Right now he's just scrubbing the, the board down with some MEK, cleaning it up, getting all the residue. I junk off the board, thermal grease. Helps us be able to examine it more closely and make sure there's no 
no other issues we're working on to. Already we've seen on the very edge of that board, it looks like it's a little bit bowed up. So we'll try to work that out with the uh, dark on our station. But it came in for the, uh, the video issue, and that's what we're going to be concerned with right now. What you guys are looking at is a black or dark IR reflow station. ACHI makes this one. This is the uh, SC Pro. Super duper top of the line reflow station. It makes life a lot easier for us and makes sure that it thoroughly reflows those uh, solder beads that are on the other side of the uh, BGA chip or the NVIDIA chip. You can do it with uh, brute force with uh, hot air, but it's it's a lot harder on the chip. The dark IR targets the solder, and you don't have to really worry about the uh, chip sustaining damage from the, the brute force heat. And in turn, it, it makes it a long-term fix. A lot more stable. A busy day there. Pros on the heat sinks, we have two fins and then two heat pipes, and everything gets contacted directly on the heat pipes. Unlike a lot of other manufacturers that would put what's called a thermal sponge in between the chip and the actual heat pipe itself, you lose con you lose connection there, and it doesn't conduct as much heat. Great design, but you can see it dirty. gets dirty inside. So, like he was talking earlier, if you can blow out with the compressor through the back to keep these guys uh, nice and clean. We're going to go ahead and since it's already open, we're going to clean it out with our compressor here. close on the uh, reflow process as you can see 188 on the bottom looking good solder's just starting to get liquidy you can see it kind of shining up another couple minutes here and we'll be all set smoking away So if you guys are running into any video issues with your Macintosh where it won't boot, um, or it does boot and you don't get video, give us a call at the shop. Uh, we have a special for all our YouTubers. It's 321-332-0710, uh, and I'll go ahead and I'll put the contact info in this video. And if you need the uh, system turned around faster, where it's real crucial that you get your system back fast, we do offer an expedited service. She's done. We just turned on the cooling on the infrared station here. 
and let the board cool off and once that's done we'll bring it over and test her out. And Trey tried to pull out the, uh, the bow that was on the side. The actual, if you look at the right hand side over here, um, where all the auxiliary connections go in, it was tipped down. So I heated it up with the heat gun and just took the bow out of that board. So it's nice and straight. We got the chips reflowed. Now it's time to test it. Apple really does use nice quality uh, blue circuit board there. and They do hold up pretty well, but unfortunately with those chips all grouped together like that, just like most of the laptops with an NVIDIA um, video issue, it's, it's a heat thing, they get hot, and if you can keep them cleaned out, usually you get more life out of them. Laptop, the cooler you run it, the longer it lasts, that's the name of the game. Great way to keep them cool is run those little fans that are underneath the laptop that props it up. Never use a laptop on the bed if at all. If you can prevent that, that's great. If you can use it in a bed, put it on a hard surface like a book. Um, they do make those laptop stands. That's even better. It keeps it nice and cool. Designed to run. And again, the cooler runs. Hopefully you won't have one of these video issues. But if you do, look us up. We'll get it working like new for you. Pop a stick of RAM in there, hook up the power. And before we bolt it all together, hopefully she comes up and works good again. Hey! And we have. Come on. Give a little Apple logo. Yay! Go. <laughs> good job, Trey. Back to pro, back to life. See that? And again, we do a flat rate repair, which includes the shipping back to you in the United States. Um, just contact us if you have any questions, leave comments, emails. The phone number should be at the bottom of this video. Again, this is Reboot IT. We remanufacture pretty much any type of uh, motherboard. If you need a screen replaced, we do screen replacements and also data recovery.